welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, October the 17th. It's pretty early. I just made it to work. I am sitting in the parking lot and I decided that I wanted to go ahead and open up the vlog. So I am starting my week off the right way. I have my um, pumpkin spice latte here from Starbucks. Y'all, it tastes so darn good. I also got me a banana walnut loaf for later on. That's why I told them just to leave it in the wrapper because I'll probably have it sometime um, this afternoon or maybe even after I get home. It just all depends. But I just wanted to come in and say hello and welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm about to get in the office um, and get my day started. I am excited for the week. I'm claiming it. It's going to be a great week. Um, it's going to be a great day. So, um, so yeah. So, I hope that you all have a great Monday as well. And I will talk to you guys soon. You guys, happy Saturday morning. Um, I have a special delivery today. The guys came pretty early, um, like around 930 from Crate and Barrel. And they delivered my black bench. I love it so much. It's a lot longer than I thought it would be, and it's perfect. I absolutely love it, you guys. I've given it a test run, and I've sat on it, and it's like that, um, I don't know, it's kind of like a woolly Sherpa type of material, I guess is what you would call it. But I sat down on it. It's really nice and firm and sturdy. And I think that it's exactly what my room needed. It looks amazing. It was um, really pricey. I will say that. Crate and Barrel. Shoot. Um, if we're being honest, any of these furniture stores nowadays are pretty expensive but um, especially your high-end store. So like I said, this is from Crate and Barrel. And y'all, I have been looking at this piece for so long. Um, there are some other um, YouTubers that have this piece um, in their home as well. And I saw it and I was like, it's absolutely stunning. I absolutely love it. For the longest time, I was going back and forth if I wanted to even put anything in here. But now that it's here, I can really get a good look at the rest of the space that's remaining in my bedroom. <clears throat> and it helps me to decide if I, in fact, wanted to do the fireplace up against this wall right over here. So it's right across from the bench. So I'm like, do I want to do a fireplace over here? Because if that's the case, it's going to have to come out about... I don't know, maybe six, seven feet. So what I don't want to do is minimize the space in my bedroom. I like the fact that my bedroom is open and it's spacious. So I may just end up um, purchasing a TV and just having it mounted and just being done with it. I don't know. I'm still trying to decide on if I am gonna, in fact, do the fireplace. But at any rate, I'm super happy with, um, sorry y'all, I was leaning up against the door. I'm super happy with my purchase. Um, it is just absolutely stunning. And yeah, I love it. You could fit three people comfortably on this bench, no problem. So I have a place now to sit down and take off my shoes, put on my shoes, um, and just another space in here, kind of like an extra sitting area, just in case I don't feel like laying in my bed, right? If I want to get out of my bed, but still stay in my room and watch TV once I get one, then at least I have that option now. So yeah, you guys, it is absolutely stunning. And I couldn't be happier with my purchase. Hey guys. <laughs> so, me and my mom just arrived at the state fair. 
I have not been to the fair, y'all, in like, oh my goodness, five, six years. So we just got here and we're about to get in line to uh, get the coupons so we can eat. So I'll check in with y'all later. Y'all, my main thing was to come here for the candy apples. So I'm going to get the hard candy and maybe one or two of the caramel apples with the with the nuts. They are $7 a piece, but to me they look kind of small. But what can you do about that? So I am gonna go ahead and make my purchase. Hey y'all, so it is the next day. Um, happy Sunday to you guys. So I am doing my basic reset that I normally do before I jump into the week and um, getting a lot of things together around the house, just getting settled, not a whole lot, but just getting prepared for um, the work week. And um, so yesterday, as you guys saw, we went to the fair, my mom and I, and um, it was good. Um, I see why I go once every five to maybe six years. So um, we ended up getting the candy apples because that was my main reason for wanting to go there. And I got a total of four, but I ate one of the caramel um, apple, one of the caramel candied apples last night. And so um, they're a lot smaller than what, you know, I'm used to. They were $7 a piece, which is pretty pricey, but everything is pricey right now. So, and y'all too, remember back in the day how they used to make the candy apples with the green apples? And the one that I had last night, I can't speak to all of them, but the one that I had last night kinda tasted more like a, I don't know, like a hybrid between a gala apple and a pear. So even the quality of the candy apples has gone down. I spent like easily $100 yesterday between admission, parking, um, and then buying the tickets. Cause I had the corny dog, I had a lemonade with that. I got the corny dog from Fletcher's because here in Texas, everybody would brag about how good they were. And to me, it was just a standard corn dog. It wasn't anything to write home about. So had that, got the candy apples and yeah. So parking was 20 bucks, admission was I think like 25 because it was on a Saturday. So that was that. But um, all in all, it was a good time. It was nice to get out of the house, but I was so ready to come back home when it was time to go. We probably stayed for like an hour and a half. So I wanted to show you guys, I ordered um, this wand cleaner for my shower. As you guys know that I like to clean my showers with an extender. And so I follow Pacula Bar Dwelling on Instagram. I think that's her name, but she has a home account and she was sharing this um, tool that she got off of Amazon that she used to clean her bathroom. And it has like a bunch of different brushes that comes with it. So I have it here on the counter. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it and, um, and show it to you guys. But I've had it now for maybe about two weeks. So when I get ready to clean the bathrooms again, um, I'll already have it here. But this is what it looks like. So it's the electric spin scrubber and it has four different types of cleaning brushes. It was like 70 bucks, but that's what it looks like. So let's see if I can get in here. Um, yeah, I should be able to get in here pretty easily. Just to show y'all what the actual product looks like. And like I said, I don't, I wanted to find something that gave me a better um, clinic experience. The one that I got when I first moved in here, it was manual and I got it from Target. And it was just a basic little extended brusher. But I open up the box and it comes with the quick start guide which more than likely that's the one that I will follow. And then of course it has the actual book that goes into greater detail on how to work it. But when I open the box, this is what it looks like. So it's broken down. Let's see, there you go. So it's broken, it's broken down, but I can already tell that I am going to like this. 
I'm super excited to use it the next time I clean. But like I said, it does come with four different brushes. Brushes. So here, here's three of them. Let me show them to y'all with just two in my hand. So this one seems pretty interesting. It's just a round brush. And then this one is probably the one that I will use the most. So these are the two big ones. And then it comes with two smaller ones. I could imagine you using this one to get into the nooks and crannies of my shower. So that one and then this one. So two big ones, two little ones. And then the rest of the items in here are the tool itself. And so I'll just assemble, assemble it and put it all together to be able to use. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna like this a lot because look how, look how long that is. So this is going to be amazing. I'll probably put this together next weekend because I want it to be charged and ready to go by the time I get ready to use this bad boy. So I'll just put everything back in, back in the box for right now. Um, and like I said, just go ahead and assemble it together when I have time and put it on the charger. So yeah, I'm super excited about having that new cleaning tool in my stash. So once I use it, I'll have to let you guys know um, how it performs and how I like it. So my mom is headed here shortly, headed home from work shortly, and we are going to fix some lunch. We have both been craving some filet catfish, so I think she's going to cook that when she gets home, and so we'll eat. And y'all, look, I just uh, looked in the viewfinder and I saw, noticed my shirt. So yes, I do have on a Christmas shirt. It is my absolute favorite shirt. I know we haven't even gotten to Thanksgiving yet, but I got this shirt like two years ago, maybe three, and it is super comfortable. And like I said, I'm just pretty much doing stuff around the house today. But yes, I have worn it out and about and will again. I absolutely love this shirt and just having it on makes me happy and gives me all the feels. So um, so yeah, if, you, <laughs> if you're probably laughing at my shirt, yes, it is one of my favorite shirts. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff up, put my candy apples back in the fridge and go ahead and get ready for my mom to arrive so that we can go ahead and prep this fish and get lunch started. Hey y'all, so I wanted to come on and chat with y'all for a little bit and give y'all a life update. I am sitting in my bedroom on my new bench that is so comfortable and I absolutely love. It's nice to have a, um, a space to be able to sit in my bedroom so I'm not having to bring in my kitchen table chair and do all of that. So yeah, but I wanted to give you guys a life update because um, I know that you guys have probably noticed that um, Aaron has not been in any of my videos and you've been seeing a lot more of my mom. So I wanted to touch on that. So um Aaron and I went our separate ways. I want to say it's been about a little over two months. And um, I decided to end the relationship. And um, it was what I needed to do for myself. Um, I think that in life, we sometimes have to do things that will break our heart, but will also heal our soul and realign our peace at the same time. And so um, that was just a necessary thing that I needed to do um, for me. And so I did not want to speak about that, though, because I also know that people, you know, re reconcile all the time. And, you know, sometimes things can work out and, you know, people will get back together. So I didn't want to bring this and share this news um, with my friends until I knew for certain that, you know, the relationship was over and that there was no chance of um, reconciliation. And so um, also I was still processing a lot of my emotions and my feelings and just, you know, being being a person um, with a heart and 
you know, just sorting through all of that. Plus, while still functioning and going to work and being productive and, um, you know, like I said, just trying to find um, that happiness in my life. Um, but yes, we did uh, decide to go our separate ways. And, um, and with that, um, my mom, she was actually transitioning um, in her life. She is retired and her lease was up on her apartment. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm in this big house, which to me for one person is big, is 2,100 square feet. And um, if you guys, you know, are new here, it's a four bedroom, three bath with an office. So it's plenty of space here for two people to live very comfortably. So I was like, you know what? My mom's retired. Um, it's just her and I here in Texas. My sister is in Memphis and my daughter lives in Atlanta. And um, everything is so expensive. And I was like, why not, you know, have her move in with me? She's my best friend, my absolute best friend. And um, we get along so well. We're so much alike. And it just it just made sense, right? So I extended the offer to her and um, she accepted. So my mom moved in, I want to say maybe mid to late August. And um, things have been great. You know, of course, she has her own room. She has her you know, own bathroom and I have my space. We don't get in each other's way and um, it's, it's been amazing. So, um, so yeah, uh, a lot has changed. A lot is um, going on, but you guys, I'm sorting through it. And like I said, I, I am happy. I'm happy with my decision. I don't, um, I don't regret it. Um, and this is just where I'm at in my life right now. So I know a lot of you probably have questions like in regards to the house. Well, as you can see that I'm the one that's still here um, and uh, he's the one that moved out. Um, but to probably answer some of the questions that you guys may have, um, the house is in my name. Clearly it was only in my name only. So there was no me having to like buy him out or anything like that. Um, I will never feel comfortable, right? Having like joint, a joint account as far as having our names on something of such significant importance, unless I'm married to you. And shout out, if, if I'm being completely honest, like even then I'm just like, um, you know, I kind of, I kind of have pause even with that because, you know, marriages end every day. Um, I follow a lot of um, different accounts and I've seen so many people that are, you know, divorcing or going their separate ways. And, you know, even with that comes risk, you know, marriage is not even guaranteed. I have been married before more than once. So, um, been there, done that, right? So with getting this house, I wanted to be smart about my moves and um, protect myself. I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, a big proponent of that and not allowing love to, you know, haze or cloud your decision-making, your judgment, you know, all of that stuff. So after we um, would have gotten married, then we would discuss, you know, as far as, you know, getting his name added to the deed. But no, his name is not on the house. Um, it's just mine. And um, so that that made it a lot simpler to be able to, you know, go our separate ways. And, you know, I wish him the best. I don't have any ill um, feelings towards him. Um, it just it just did not work for us, you know, and, and that's OK. You know, that's what life is all about, figuring out what works for you. Um, our relationship did move pretty fast. I will say that. And, um, you know, as, as you get older, I mean, I'm 43, but I'm still learning every day. I'm still figuring it out. I don't have, you know, everything completely together. I don't have all the answers. Um, I don't think I ever will. But I'm enjoying this part of my journey and my life to where I am still learning and growing and um, just realizing what it is that's going to make me happy, 
what it takes to uh, maintain, you know, my peace of mind because that's everything to me. And if I feel like something is um, going to jeopardize that or shift that, then I have to, I have to pivot, right? And, and make sure that my peace of mind and that my, um, that my safe space is protected, right? I'm, I'm going to do that in, in anything that I do, right? And I also believe that having and setting boundaries are important. Um, I, I feel like that is a guide for us in life. And um, so that's, that, that was just part of it, you know? So I just wanted to go ahead and address that because I know that you guys have noticed that he hasn't been in any videos. I haven't mentioned him. There haven't been any date nights. And y'all have been seeing um, me and my mom, you know, just hanging out and, you know, always together. So, yes, she does live here. Her and her um, dog, uh, Runtz, they moved in. So, y'all see him sometimes here and, there, here and there or even hear him because he's uh, he's very dramatic. So, <laughs> so, yeah, you guys, I just wanted to um, bring that to the forefront. Um, please, no negative comments. That's That's not... Why I wanted to share this. I just want it to be as transparent as possible. And I feel like since you guys have been with me on this journey as long as you have and that I've let you guys in, that it was only um, it was only fair for me to, um, you know, give that update and to let you guys know where I stood and where I'm at and how, you know, things are, are progressing. So um, that's that. Um, I do apologize. I did not have any other videos this week because I just didn't have a whole lot of content and I did not want to upload, um, just for the sake of uploading. So this video will go out today, which is Sunday, um, October 23rd, I believe it is. So I'm going to go ahead and get this video uploaded, but guys, I have been busy shopping. So, um, if you don't know, fall is my absolute most favorite time of the year fall going into winter and then um going into spring summer not so much anymore i used to love summer but no that's that's just not my jam anymore so being on that fall is here um i have been doing some shopping uh i mostly have been shopping for my house but i needed a few items so i've been shopping at new york and company i've gotten some more body care from bath and body works and um, I ordered me some more Uggs. I ordered me some more tall boots off of Amazon. So I'm going to have this one big, large collective haul. So I cannot wait to share that with y'all. Hopefully everything will be in by this weekend. If not this weekend, definitely the following weekend. But um, I'm also going to uh, start shopping for my Christmas home decor. Um, items. I'm getting super excited for that. So uh, all of that is coming as well. So I'll take you guys with me as I go into the stores and then of course come come on and share with you my purchases and um, all of that. So yeah, there is some good content that is coming up. Um, my coffee table should be here. I want to say, if I'm remembering correctly, when I check the email, like the end of November, I'm going to call them like the second or third week in November just to kind of like double check and see if it's already in stock. And if so, try to go ahead and schedule a um, delivery date. So I'm super excited for what's to come, you guys. I'm super excited about life, uh, period, just in general. I know what God has for me is for me and I accept that, I embrace that. And um, yeah, so I just want to thank y'all so much for all of your support, for sticking around, for hanging out with me, for subscribing to the channel. It's appreciated more than you guys could ever know. Um, just thank you so much for um, all of the dialogue that we have back and forth in the comments. Coming on here and filming for me has been super therapeutic. Um, even when I was going through, you know, my difficult breakup, you know, just being able to come onto camera and just share my thoughts, share my day, um, and all of that has, has really been, been helpful. So I just appreciate you guys for, 
uh, hanging with me and for being so sweet and so kind. And until then, I will see you all in the next video. I hope you all have a great week and um, thanks so much. See y'all soon.